Go ahead and grab me by the beaker and start lighting farts from the Bunsen burner because today we're taking a look at the lab. That's right, Xbox Design Lab. If you've never heard of Design Lab, it's a service slash website offered through Microsoft for you to customize your Xbox controllers, even the Elite, Premium, or Pro controllers. In this video, I want to scrub up and huff some pharmaceutical grade chemicals as we design our own custom controllers, controllers plural inside of Design Lab. Come on, come on, gesture control. I'm using the force on my camera. It's not fucking working. That's why we use this mounted camera. There it is. But I know you, you're not just watching for a chance to get a free controller. You want to check out the laboratory with AK-40 Kevin, the controller captain, and the rest of the stallions and stallionettes. Let's get it. Welcome aboard, stallion or stallionette. Over 200 game pads tested, not letting off the throttle. Controller looking like a model. Reviews go down smooth. Pass me the bottle. I got paddles. Back to the lobby with a waddle. Gaming news, gear reviews, more controllers than you can use. A man of many faces, recording by the smoke and aces. I wasn't born the controller captain. It was you bucking broncos that made it happen. Enough input delay, this video is slapping. You heard it during the intro, but we are about to enter the Xbox Design Lab, or XDL, as I've never heard anybody call it before, but acronyms. I am going to be wearing this attire throughout the video, and this lab coat provides a little bit of warmth on my sweet knees. First thing we are greeted with is a little cup of milk and a couple of cookies. Tracking cookies, sure, I'll take them. I'm going to remove these goggles so I can get a f clear view out of these corneas as to what we're looking at. And what we are looking at is some gorgeous Xbox Series controllers. Now, keep in mind, these are the stalkers. You're not going to have pro controller feet features like trigger stops, removable thumbstick caps, and remappable rear buttons or back paddles, maybe some mechanical face buttons. The stock Xbox controllers, freakishly comfortable, and if you don't need those pro controller features and don't mind the potential of getting stick drift at any possible moment, standard Xbox controller will get the job done and apparently look good doing it. And a real quick disclaimer, since we are doing this video, checking out Xbox Design Labs, this is not sponsored, I haven't been paid a single shekel from Microsoft, this is my own idea to make this video, and I just wanted to showcase what what you can build in the design lab. But I also want to talk price. Is it worth it to create a custom and design lab or is there a cheaper alternative? You're going to have this motion banner giving you a little teaser trailer of some standard controllers as well as oh, some Elite Series 2s. <sighs> so really there's three things that you can customize Thanks. in the design lab. That is going to be a standard controller, an Elite Series 2 Premium or Pro controller, and then the component kit. If you decided to get yourself a core, which is the more stripped down Elite Series 2 that came out two years later with some cheaper feeling plastics and indeed it doesn't come with any of the accessories including the paddles it does include the tool for thumbstick tension but that's it in no way shape or form do i recommend getting the core controller i strongly recommend the og black soft touch rubberized material series 2 the og that came out in 2019 however if you do customize a series 2 it is going to start life as a stock core controller one of the all white versions because they're easier to paint on than that rubberized soft touch material Real quick, let's look at the accessories, shall we? $40 for the carrying case and the charging dock, which again, these two pieces will be included with that standard Elite Series 2, which is right here. If you're wondering why I have a personal vendetta against the core as opposed to the original Elite Series 2, there are going to be two videos linked down there in the description below that'll fully catch you up on all the back lore as to why that's a stinky stinker. So the majority of the carrying case is going to remain this matte black cloth. However, it is going to change the pull tab on the zipper as well as the Xbox logo. Mm, either this John or this John. Let's go with this bad boy. Add a cart. Let's pimp out a standard wireless controller, shall we? You are going to see some solid colors, and these are not a hard, slippery plastic. These are going to be a rubberized soft touch material, which feels very nice on the palms. They just stay at the $70 base price. However, for $10 more, you can get yourself a pattern. It almost looks like a tie-dye pattern, really neo Toledo. You do have five camo options. Ooh, couldn't even see you hiding in the bushes there, bud. Oh, you've got this little razzmatazz. Too much for me. So that's actually pretty disappointing, in my opinion. This is the only selection here. Are these solid colors? and these patterns in comparison to a company like Extreme Rate, which offers dozens, if not over a hundred designs of face plates, back shells, etc. You can also customize your own controller by doing a partial teardown or disassembly, painting it yourself with a little rattle can spray paint action, which if you do it properly, not only will not give you that stinky, something's been spray painted in this room smell, but also looks so good that nobody's going to be like, oh, is that spray painted? It just looks like it was factory painted. Popping up on screen here are a couple of controllers I built on the channel and the majority of those have been hydro dipped or spray painted or both 
by moi. So yeah, this is a really lackluster selection in the front faceplate department. How about the Rumper Tukus? Ooh, also even more limited as these are all solid colors, but no patterns. That's gross. I do like that they have separate selection for both of the rubber grips, the inners and the outers. The outer is going to be this plastic plate, which you can get for around $12 on Amazon and pop on yourself. They're very easy to install. They just pop off a couple of clips and snaps back on. Sounds like you're going to break it, but you're not. And then you've got these inner grips, which are only on some of the limited edition joints. Don't like that there is no color option here because there are limited edition X controllers that have gray, red colored rubber, and you cannot select that here. And it's so weird because they already have those parts or components at the Xbox controller factory. Why not let me select them here? Moving on to bumping people off with the bumpers, sweetheart. Again, solid colors here, no pattern. You could do so much more by painting or hydro dipping yourself if that's a route you want to take. Same thing with the triggers, solid colors here. Standard plastic D-pads are not going to be an upcharge, but for $4, you can get metallic D-pads, which are indeed metal. They're not steel stamped billet aluminum down to their core or anything. It's just a little metal coating on the outside. Looks cool though. You can change the color of your thumbsticks. I would really like if you could change the height or shape. I understand we're dipping into pro controller builder territory, but come on, let me choose the option for domed or hybrid sticks or a little bit higher right option, shall we? And then this really tickles me in the wrong nether region. Very limited in the selection of face or action buttons. And I gotta tell you, Xbox has a huge backlog of colored face buttons. In fact, overlaying the catalog of Extreme Raid on Amazon, where you can pick up dozens of different colors. Now, I will say installing face or action buttons is a lot more involved of a process than swapping out a face plate or those little side panels. It's not that hard, and I do have tutorials on the channel. <sighs> this also just upsets me. Super limited, the accessory button suite, the view, menu, and share button. And then this is kind of cool. You can add custom engraving, but there is a limit of 16 characters. So if you've got a long ass name like Juan Alejandro Monero the third or something. Yeah, you ain't gonna fit it all in here. Gamer, had the caps lock on. Gamer, heaven. Then you hit preview design and it's gonna give you a total. So this is pretty much a fully pimped out with every option available controller. Running a total of 103.94. That is the subtotal. Do you get free shipping with this service? All right, the grand total for this ugly ass monstrosity is 103.94. Shipping is going to be free. And there is also an optional discount code. I do not have a creator code, affiliate or referral code for Xbox Design Labs yet, but I will get one and it will be dropped down there in the description below when I do obtain it. But in the meantime, I'm going to scour the internet, maybe use that little honey plugin that YouTubers promote and whatnot, try and find a discount for you. And if I find one that does work, I'm going to plug it down there in the description below until I get my own personal one and then I'll swap that in there. Yeah, yeah. So 103.94, in my opinion, is not bad, even though this is cosmetic modifications only. This is still a stock controller at the end of the day. Stock performance wise, obviously it's got a ton of cosmetic or appearance tweaks. But the reason I say that's actually pretty good is if you look at a lot of other companies, custom controller companies that are offering just cosmetic upgrades such as Dream or Laza mods, they're in the $140, $160 range. So with this, you are getting a Microsoft standard controller warranty, which is now one year. It used to be three months for the longest time for like four years up until this written blog post popping up in front of my face. This is when the core was introduced. This is the official Xbox blog post introducing that controller and also announcing that they quadrupled the warranty from three months to one year. And that was on their Elite Series 2 controller, a $160 Pro controller with a warranty of a standard $50 bought it on Amazon stalker. That's crazy. I gotta say, I am not a big fan of the etching. All it does is put black text here at the bottom. I would hope you could choose the positioning. For example, an AIM and Battle Beavers builder. Any builder that lets you customize with a tagline or a custom icon or graphic. Oh, you can't see what I'm talking about. That's the second time I've done that in this video. It just puts it down here. You should be able to put it on the left palm grip. So very limited in color and positioning. But I want to see what we can do with an Elite Series 2, a pro controller. Let's deck that sucker out. All right, so starting with the body, which is actually going to be the faceplate. You do have even less options than you had with a standard controller. Although I gotta say, oh God, some of these look so sick. Keep in mind, these are that rubberized soft touch material, not a hard scrapey plastic. My four personal favorite colors, other than the black, of course, is going to be the silver, this olive drab green, this mineral blue, and believe it or not, this soft orange actually looks pretty sick. But we're gonna go matching with a mineral blue front and back. Same thing with the bumpers. We're keeping it cohesive. And the trigs. Ooh, and the trigs do look kind of nice. Instead of the same material, it's kind of a colorized brush silver look. Neato. Oh. 
sweetheart. So here's where we unlock more options for face or action buttons in the elite department. And oh my God, we found matching glacier blue buttons. Ooh, we thought we were done. Next step, add accessories. Set of four paddles, two mediums, two minis, obviously. And I want those painted to match. Would you like a set of additional thumbstick caps? Um, is it a premium or pro controller? <laughs> Quit asking stupid questions. Slather it on, please. On a rookie ass build, do you think this is? I've got to have some protection. So yes, we need a carrying case. And yes, color match, please. So I do like this. Instead of it letting you spec out individual parts that are going to end up being cheaper than a bundle that's offered, they just tell you, hey man, you could save $37 by getting the elite package. So I'm going to toggle that slider and it's going to decrease the price. I'm going to preview my design. So you will see that the engraving is a separate charge from the subtotal. My guess is that this might be done out of house or at a separate facility, which means if you do take the engraving route, if that is the case, that would increase the build time or lead time because they have to send it out to a third party partner. And not to mention the engraving just doesn't look that spectacular as it is. So I would just save my $10 and potentially a couple of extra days of build time. $220 actually isn't bad considering a standard Elite Series 2 on Amazon. So retail on this controller since it was announced in 2019 has been $180. But since it's been out for four and a half years, you can consistently find it on sale, especially around the holidays and whatnot. But this is the license listing from Xbox, $151. So this is a lot more expensive, but it looks nothing like a standard elite you would pick up on Amazon or off the shelves of Best Buy or Walmart. So my final sentiments with the laboratory, the Xbox Design Lab, I would love to see a bigger selection of face plates, rear shells, face or action buttons, D-pad colors, basically every part or component. There should be a slew more options in their builder, but I do believe the reason that Microsoft doesn't allow that is to kind of implore customers to buy their limited edition Xbox controllers, which are themed. For example, I'm gonna show some B-roll of some my favorites on the wall right now. Keep in mind, the majority of these have been discontinued for several years. That's why they're in my collection because they're getting rare by the day. But furthermore than that, when these were brand new controllers that you could pick up, these limited editions are a little bit more pimped out or themed, if you will, than just changing colors in the design lab. I will say though, the design lab is pretty robust for what it is and the fact that you still get a Microsoft warranty and the prices aren't astronomical. I thought honestly that they would be a lot worse, that you'd be getting gouged, shivved in the spleen by Microsoft, and you're really not. Compared to other premium or pro controller companies, you're not really getting gouged. Having said that, if you do want to customize an Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch controller, and you have a little bit of DIY knowledge, or you just don't mind taking apart that controller, you can always customize your own controller on the cheap. I've done builds on this channel for under $10 using spray paint and a couple of used face buttons from other controllers I had sitting around, basically Frankensteining a custom. And that was the only option that existed for customizing a controller for a long time until Extreme Rate started offering parts on Amazon. Now you have another option with Microsoft Xbox Design Lab. Is it a good option? Y yeah, I would say so. Is it a great option? No, they're missing some options that I would like to see added to that builder. And what will really kick it off to the next level would be getting me a personalized coupon code for my audience, of course. <laughs> Stallions, preferably, please. In all seriousness, this was a tour of Xbox Design Labs. You now know what it is, the limitations of it, and what you can build in it, and for how much. And I will see you, Stallions and Stallionettes, tomorrow ransack the comment section with controller commentary from you guys and i'll see you tomorrow peace if you enjoyed the video liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers so this information will reach and assist them as well much like the back of the tv i've got plugs for all of my socials down there in the description below and your wallet will greatly thank you if you check the description because there are exclusive discounts on a ton of products including controllers control freaks keyboards mouse pads clothes and energy drinks and keep in mind that you the viewer keep this channel running the more stallions and stallionettes trotting around the stable the better, so molly wop that subscribe button like it owes you money, and we'll have the same amount of fun tomorrow.